If you're selling products online using Shopify, you need to grow your list as fast as possible and get people to subscribe for not only your email list, but also SMS list. And in this video, I will show you a bunch of ways how you can grow your list much faster, how you can set up a simple form, sign up form using Klaviyo, and also I'll give you a bunch of other alternatives that can help you increase profitability with a optimized offer for your sign up form. So I don't have to mention how important it is to have SMS included, especially in the United States. We see brands adding an extra 20, 30%. We've seen even some crazy numbers like generating quarter million, I think it was $247,000 just from email SMS flows within the first 30 days. So definitely invest into that. We're gonna start with Klaviyo sign up forms. Uh, there have been a lot of changes recently a lot of new templates for you and they're really optimized for mobile and desktop experience. What you need to shoot for is launch the first signup form, keep it simple, start with 10% off and see where your signup form rate is after having presented your form to at least 1,000 people, 1,000 site visitors. If you're at around 5%, most likely you can update the design, maybe do a little tweaks, make sure it's optimized for desktop, for mobile, Highly recommend having a separate pop-ups, one only for mobile users, one only for desktop users to see how that performs. And if you're not at 5%, you should definitely change the offer, test it versus 10% versus 15%, maybe $5 versus $10. And I'll share a few more ideas for you, um, but you can even start with an ebook, could be good depending on your, your products and what you're selling. But start with 10%, off and yes, you should be growing your sign up rate as close as possible to 10%. I think above 10% is, is amazing if you're getting to the we're, we're getting to the point where you have 20, 30, 40,000 site visitors every single month, maybe even every single week later on, the sign up rate will drop because you have very streams of traffic. It's not as as targeted as as in the beginning. So yes, it might change, but Close, the closer to 10% you are, the better. But let's start with the simple form. Make sure you choose the right list to subscribe for. And this is very important because otherwise your welcome flow will not fire. You wanna make sure that the welcome flow, email and SMS are being sent out immediately after si someone signs up. It's very, very important to get people to open and click your emails and SMS because that's the behavior that they're being getting used to when they start engaging with your brand. Keep it simple, obviously you can change your design, you can do a lot of changes here. Um, copy, keep it extremely simple, make sure that um, they can, they see what the offer is and the targeting behavior, again, you can choose for here, you can choose it for just desktop or just mobile. You can, I, again, I usually like to optimize for both so I can keep it separate. You can definitely do that. Show to all visitors, not, don't do that. Show to people that are not in, on your Klaviyo profiles already. And this, most of the times you don't have to really work with. If you're getting really advanced with signup forms, you can show it to different locations. If you have a store, physical store in big locations like LA or Sydney or New York, you can target people just in that locations and create a special offer to drive traffic to your store. If you have certain URLs like landing pages, you can use it as well. And of course you can do upsells and cross sells with, with your signup form. So if you have people that are on your list, then you can target people based on a specific segment and be like, hey, you're almost a VIP. Create a segment that has people with 3X average, uh, average lifetime value or uh, basically people that bought once or twice this year, but they're not there yet to, to become your VIPs and target them with a pop-up. But to keep it simple, you want to make sure that you understand what you can set up here. So show when visitors are exiting the page. This is the exit intended pop-up. Um, you can, this is really well for, this is works really well for desktop. Show on after page load, self-explanatory or, or after scrolling. I like the scrolling part just for desk, for mobile because that, that's what we do on mobile devices, right? Um, custom triggers, we don't have to work on that. But you can start with even show on page load if because we're targeting new visitors, new store visitors. If you're not doing any CRO optimization at the moment, you can do that. Keep it simple. So let me show you on all devices. Let's go back. 
once they click continue, they will be sent out over to one SMS only deals. And here you gotta make sure that you have this, this text here written with all the policies. It's very, very important. It's a legal thing right now. It's not right now, it's been forever because you're obviously targeting people on their private mobile devices and you wanna make sure you stick to the rules. For example, Florida has different quiet hours. You can't text people before 8 a.m. or after 8 p.m. So you wanna make sure that if you have time differences, you are not abusing this, this, um, this loss and you can set it up inside of your welcome flow. It's very important that you do that and uh, not get pretty much um, fine. We don't want you to do to, to, to get fined because they might be outrageous in some cases. So super self-explanatory. They type in the phone numbers and they get basically a text. They have to confirm on the success page. One thing I can recommend, don't put your discount code on the success page. Send people straight to their phones or inboxes, email inboxes, get them familiar with opening your emails and opening your text. Very, very important to build that engaged engagement between you and your audience. Now let's look into alternatives. So I have a few offers, few things, offers you could try. One is cashback. For cashback, you can use platforms such as Get Fondue. I'll link their, their page down below this video. So what it does, it gives people an opportunity to get cashback on every purchase they do. And they have 30 days to claim it. So they can use it for whatever they want. But for you, as the brand owner, they pay full price. They actually have to pay full price in order to get the cashback. And after they get basically their, their place order, they can use it for whatever they want, or they can use a store credit. So they have an option. They can choose between store credit immediately, which is usually higher. So if you have 20% cashback, you can give them even 40% store credit because obviously people want to go, people will spend more money on your store, right? This is the psychology behind it. If I already have a 30, 40% store credit, I will most likely add more products that I would be what it would add otherwise to the cart. And that just makes sense. And here's the catch. Why does it increase profitability for your brand? Well, people forget about the cashback. Might be too little, maybe $20, $30 doesn't go a long way. Maybe they just don't, maybe they just, they're so forgetful. But about one third of people will never claim the cashback, which leaves you with a full, basically purchase, full purchase price. We have another option that can be a free ebook, performs pretty well. If you know how to get people from the ebook to buy from your products, this is something we've realized. A lot of people are interested in the ebook, but not really in the product. So you wanna make sure that you have it optimized for purchase for sure. Um, this is text to buy where you have an option. People can uh, sign up for email and SMS on one page and this is actually a platform called one text that allows you or your customers to buy from the text so you would send them a text be like hey would you like to reorder just text me back pay now they don't have to go to the store the credit card is store on file and they can literally pay for your products from a single text pretty solid we have giveaway you can do a giveaway maybe give away a free product with order that can perform really well this is a pretty simple one and if you already have a brand established brand for authority you can just say that you can become a VIP and be the first one to know about our new product drops which for a lot of people will be a solid offer there's another platform called amp.io I will also leave their link down below that show that literally specializes and shows you hundreds of examples they literally specialize in growing signup forms or growing your lists for e-commerce stores. So they have a lot of things that they are, they have tested, they've tried, and they will help even set up a form where you can collect zero party data information. So like here, what are you interested in? Why are you here? You can use that later on to build segments and create campaigns around it. And there's also Just Uno. It's been around for a long time and they help you set up really in-depth triggers for your sign-up forms for upsells, cross-sells, etc., and also growing your list. So there we go. I hope you found this video helpful. You learned something that you can implement for your store. Again, the KPI should be 
as close getting your sign up rate as close as possible to 10 percent and if you're there you definitely are on the right track to growing your list and getting your email and sms to perform above 50 percent of your total revenue and that's it i'll see you in the next video